we know that men s- suppress, yeah. suppress the stories, mm-hmm. but, but on top of that, suppress the actual emotions of what that impact of like being bullied, being name called, being, uh, physically attacked, mm-hmm. whatever that, whatever that is. And like, it's our responsibility as we are adults to undo. Yeah. To like, um, it's not to replay the stories over and over and further identify with them. It's like, can we create the space that has enough bravery and courage in it to like allow the stories to come out, yeah. to be seen, to be like, hey, guess what? I'm not that nice. Yeah. <laughs> and here's what it looks like. Yeah. And we, I feel like as men, we we got to do that. Yes. We got to do that. And I think we, and I know we get to do, we get to hold that space for each other. Yeah. And so what, what was your experience from that? You continue doing your own work. Mm-hmm. And so how does the change actually happen in your home, in, in, in your life, in your experience? So, yeah, the thing, the shadow piece of it for me was uh, it was so difficult. Even when I was doing the work before Sacred Sons, doing these programs, I know my core was like, I get to change. I see these things happening. I don't want to show up this way. And if it was the whole hiding from these stories that have been, I've been hurt and I've been in pain and I've showed up in certain ways. I didn't, you know, there's shame, like a heavy shame. And then some of it was like ancestral DNA, like from my dad's side, you know, there's just a whole bunch of slew of things. Right. And so coming into the men's work and sacred sons, it really, there was a space for me to just jump in and I started seeing other men jump in and I was like, oh, this is okay. This is courage. This is what it really looks like. And it gave me the opportunity to like jump in myself and all the way up till I think summit, I finally like, I still jumped in. I had this come up and that's where I'm at as a leader. I know that I get to still look at these things and you have to, I have to. Right. And there was a moment in my road to leadership you know, and leading in my home first and then myself and all the things that I was just like in reserve and leading and holding space or witnessing or whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's just been the last couple of years where I'm like, you know, if something's coming up, I'm doing it, I'm jumping in, yes. I'm jumping in. And it was a father wound that was that summit that I got to like step into my brother Kale um angelo and peter led it and um it was beautiful i got raised up and it just it's still it's here still present and i get to still grow in that way and so it just taught me a lot as a leader into this space that there's still stuff there um but as i was showing up in my house even from the first couple events with sacred sons I definitely was not showing up like my, my beloved even was questioning, why am I going to these weekends? It just wasn't translating. It wasn't, I wasn't embodying it. I wasn't, and then it just kept getting better and better, but like it was, it was still rough. Right. And so, yeah, these moments of like still stepping in, still stepping in has been huge for me to embody and, know that I'm still human. I'm going to mess up. I'm going to say the wrong thing. And how is my recovery game? How is my heart to come back to that person or to that situation and say, Hey, that was, that was me and fully own it. And I'm misaligned in that. And how can we make this better? How can we move forward? And so that's where I'm at now. Like I said, I could have hate white people black like my my beloved she's just like so when i first told her the story years ago she's like wow like that's crazy that you're still like hanging out <laughs> like i wouldn't i don't know what i would do because it's just it was so potent in details that i was telling her that she's like i don't know how you like people because it was it was yeah. really rough so yeah well you like people because your essence is to love yeah and that's what i took away from your story it's like what you're growing into is to simply be yourself and to love. Yeah. That was the last line to be me and to love. And so like, I think that journey is, is one maybe that you chose that your soul chose. And that is your personal remembrance, Mm -hmm. like the remembrance that, that you are human and through your humanness, like 
That's how we get to connect.